each of us, there burns the fury of a warrior. In every generation, a few are chosen to prove it. One of you three will decide the outcome of the tournament. Three strangers will travel to the mystical realm of Outworld to defend our people against Shang Tsung. You will and his forces of darkness. In an ancient tournament, one more victory. Your soul is mine. And our world no! is theirs. It has begun. everyone this is Michael again and welcome to another movie review and this review is going to be on Mortal Kombat the original from 1995 and the film stars Robin Shu, Bridget Wilson, Christopher Lambert, Lyndon Ashby and Carrie Hiroki Tagawa. Now the film is of course based off of the popular game uh, of the same name and I'm going to be reviewing, of course, Mortal Kombat Annihilation also, uh, leading up to uh, the new film, the new Mortal Kombat film, which is going to be uh, released this Friday. It's going to be on HBO Max and in theaters. And I have never seen uh, this film or Mortal Kombat Annihilation before. This was the first time I watched the original film. I remember seeing the trailer uh, for this film a lot as a kid, but never gotten around to uh, checking the film out until, you know, today. And Mortal Kombat, the original film here, it is a very good movie. I really enjoyed uh, this film. Uh, to me, it's one of the best uh, video game films, you know, done, you know, next to Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, which came out last year. Because, you know, a lot of the other video game films, uh, they weren't uh, done right. Uh, you know, like Street Fighter, uh, Double Dragon was another one that I heard uh, that was terrible. But, you know, I really enjoyed the original uh, Mortal Kombat. Uh, it's a very good film still to this day. You know, it's very uh, nostalgic, as you would say. You know, it's it was done in the uh, the mid '90s. Yes, the the effects in the film look dated because you know at that time you know it was 1995. At that time, you know we didn't have you know these awesome you know CGI uh, looking uh, graphics that we have now. But I always loved Mortal Kombat. Uh, I never played the uh, the arcade uh, version of it. I always played the other uh, Super Nintendo uh, version. Uh, because my cousin uh, had it, and every time when I would go over to my cousin's house, uh, we would always play the game, and out of all the characters uh, in uh, the game, you know, you had Liu Kang, you had Scorpion, uh, Sub-Zero, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, out of all the characters, I would always play as Johnny Cage. I don't know why, Maybe Johnny Cage uh, was, you know, a favorite of mine. So basically, I would always play as Johnny Cage uh, when I was a kid. And when Mortal Kombat 11 came out, started uh, choosing, you know, like characters, uh, like I chose Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub Zero, uh, Reptile, Goro, and mostly 
95% of the time, I would choose Goro uh, because Goro is, you know, a strong uh, character who, uh, you know, could defeat anybody, uh, in my opinion, in the game. And that's basically uh, who I choose mostly in the Mortal Kombat games is uh, Goro. But there are a few times, you know, like I said, where I chose other characters, you know, from Reptile, uh, Raiden, Liu Kang. So, but always loved Mortal Kombat. One of my favorite uh, fighting games. But basically, uh, what uh, the original film is about is it follows Liu Kang, played by Robin Shu, and Johnny Cage, uh, played by Lyndon Ashby, and Sonya Blade, played by Bridget Wilson. Liu Kang is uh, this warrior monk. Uh, in the film, Johnny Cage is an actor, and of course, Sonya Blade is, you know, a soldier. So all three of them are guided by Raiden, who is played by Christopher Lambert, and they go to this uh, mysterious island uh, to compete in a tournament called Moral Combat. And the outcome of the tournament will decide the fate of the world. And also to combat uh, the evil sorcerer uh, Shang Tsung, who is played by Kari Hiroyuki Tagawa. So basically, that's what uh, the film is uh, about. But the film uh, got the uh, got the looks of the characters in the game right. You know, you had Sub Zero and Scorpion look exactly. Uh, like how they are in the game. Uh, also, uh, Liu Kang. Uh, Reptile uh, looked awesome here. You have uh, Princess Katana. Uh, Princess Katana is also in the film, uh, who is played by uh, Talisa Soto, I think that's how you pronounce the uh, actress's name. And uh, also, uh, all three of uh, these characters, you know, Cage, Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, and Sonya Blade, they have their own reason for competing uh, in this tournament. You know, Liu Kang is trying to get revenge against uh, Shang Tsung, uh, which was revealed later on, uh, who killed his brother. Shang Tsung ended up killing uh, Liu Kang's uh, brother, Chan. I think that's how you pronounce uh, the character's name. Sonya Blade is seeking revenge on Kano. Uh, Kano, of course, in the games, is this, uh, cr this Australian crime lord. And uh, Kano ends up murdering a officer, and that's why Sonya Blade uh, is after uh, him and seeking revenge. And Johnny Cage is there to prove, even though that he is an actor, that his martial arts skills are very real. But I thought, you know, having Liu Kang and Johnny Cage and Sonya Blade, uh, you know, their own reasons for competing in the tournament, I thought that was very well uh, put into the story. Uh, the acting uh, was uh, pretty good. Uh, the fight scenes, uh, the martial arts uh, sequences, the fight scenes uh, were very well choreographed. They were very well done, very well filmed. Uh, love the fight scene uh, between Johnny Cage and Scorpion, you know, where they're in that forest, and then they go into uh, this, uh, they're transported into uh, this lair, and, you know, having Johnny Cage and uh, Scorpion go at it in that lair, I thought that was very well filmed, very well choreographed. Uh, that's my favorite uh, fight scene uh, in the film, uh, next to Liu Kang and Shang Tsung, uh, towards the end of the film, thought that was uh, another fight scene that I really enjoyed. Goro is in the film, and you know he looks badass. I like the uh, the effects uh, done on Goro. I think those are the only effects, uh, in my opinion, that still hold up to this day. Uh, though Goro looked very uh, badass. You have uh, Jax also in the film for a little bit. But the film uh, was 
a hit at the box office. It spent three weeks at number one. It earned over $122 million worldwide. And it had a budget of $18 million. So it was a hit uh, at the box office when it came out in August of 1995. It was well received by the fans of the video game. But Mortal Kombat, the original, it's a good movie. I really enjoyed it. And like I said, even though the effects are dated, considering it was, you know, mid-90s that it was done, you know, you you could tell, like, in some scenes uh, that they filmed it on a green screen and it stands out. You could tell, like, the green screen stands out. So, but, you know, Goro, like I said, was the only one that stood out, uh, to my opinion, in my opinion, that uh, Goro actually, you know, looks, you know, still good with the effects. So, but overall, it's a good movie. It's one of the best uh, video game movies next to uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. And if you haven't seen uh, the original Mortal Kombat, uh, definitely uh, give this film a watch. It's a good movie. And, you know, the fight scenes, like I said, uh, it will have you on, you know, the edge of your seat. Like, you know, like, yeah, it's awesome. So... But yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of the original Mortal Kombat. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe. And the next review will be on Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And yes, I've heard from people that it's pretty fucking shitty. I heard it's absolutely fucking bad. (laughs) So yeah, so that will be the next uh, uh, movie review. So, until then, I'll see you all later.